Hi, I'm Larry Hooper, editor of Channel Web, and I'm here today at Retail Vision with Eli Glansberg, National Sales Manager at SDI, uh, the makers of the iHome line of products. Uh, Eli, welcome. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Good morning. So the one thing I want to ask you, um, we're here, um, it's kind of a rough time for retail. The whole economy is a little bit down. Can you just kind of talk about sort of that you guys are, are one of the best sellers, but sort of what, what are you seeing out in the market now? I mean, sort of what's working for you guys? Some of the trends that we foresee in the marketplace, uh, needless to say, is iPod, iPhone accessory market. Uh, we feel that it will probably continue to be successful despite the difficult economy that we're facing at this point. Uh, not only is the install base for both iPods as well as iPhone in the millions, but as you've read the news the last couple of days and, and last week as well, uh, many more consumers are still purchasing the product. Of course, with that product and the docking stations that we provide for usage with those, but with that specific product, it kind of allows us to uh, cover the marketplace. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're looking for some pretty decent growth as far as product uh, being able to go out to the marketplace as well. Where, where are you seeing the growth? I mean, you know, you can get a, I mean, an iHome or sort of an iPod dock from anywhere from twenty-nine dollars to a thousand, or I've seen even mm -hmm. some, some pretty elaborate ones. Sort of, what's your hot category right now? Our biggest number, of course, which has been the award-winning piece, uh, it's called our IP9, which is the iPhone-compatible clock radio. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, at this point, it's available in fifty-six plus countries throughout the world. Uh, rated A, it's highly recommended by iLounge supporters of, Na it's also supported by national TVs as well as print ads. So we really follow up on that in making the consumer aware of that product. Uh, offering consumers what they really want is really what we kind of are proud of, so to speak. Uh, you give people what they want, they will manage to try to uh, go out there and purchase it. Uh, the, the, the base for us is extremely high on that, and it just continues to go on and on and on. Can you talk about um, sort of uh, as far as the retail strategy goes? We're here at Retail Vision. Sort of what what are the retailers that are having the most success with your with your product, and and who's out there doing some interesting things? Needless to say, I think on the promotion end of it, it's still going to be relatively strong. The consumers uh, are going to be looking for where they can possibly pick up any item uh, that the retailers are promoting. Uh, and again, as I said, I think promotions will be a, a viable key mm -hmm. uh, rather than just people going into stores, taking a look at the product line. Assortment is the other key as well. Uh, and freshness. Uh, and we kind of stride on that. As, or, or actually, we're proud of that because of the, the freshness part of the business, which is something we basically look to pursue on, a, on almost on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. uh, we just don't stop doing that almost on a weekly basis. Our marketing staff and a new product uh, area as well are continuously looking for new product that's going to be in the tough times as they are today. You've got to offer the consumer something that's new mm -hmm. uh, in order for them to say, you know what, we could possibly go along with that product as well. Can you tell us a little bit something like something coming down the pike, what's coming that's going to be new? We are coming out with what's going to be called uh, the new iHome Studio Series, which is fe it features a Bon Jovi acoustic patent technology strictly to iHome uh, and it is a worldwide exclusivity for us as well. Uh, basically what that unit does uh, is, is kind of brings the music level up. When, you, when you're doing compression of mp3 music uh, you're kind of losing some of the highs, the lows, the bases and things of that nature. Right, right. Uh, with this type of technology it kind of brings it right back up to where it needed to be. The sound quality, to me, to yourself, and to most people out there, is just fine the way it is. Mm -hmm. However, when you hear uh, that Bon Jovi acoustic technology that we've implemented in that new piece, uh, you'll be absolutely flabbergasted by the type of sound quality that you're going to get. The unit is going to have 100 uh, watts of premium sound going through it, uh, designated four woofers and one inch silk dome tweeters as well. Uh, it, it, the, the chip itself const constantly, I should say, scans the audio and restores all the harmonic clarity lost in today's music formats. So I, we see that. We've got a lot of good, good things for that. There's going to be a portable piece that's going to be available as well as the regular iHome piece. Price point, you're looking at the, uh, the basic home unit at $299 and the uh, travel piece which uh, comes with rechargeable batteries, many bells and whistles will be available with that as well. 
uh, and that will be at one hundred and seventy nine dollars. So that's a kind of a taking a step up in the. It's it's very much taking a step up for our company. We feel that with the great success that we've had, and of course the consumer allowing us to enjoy that great success. Uh, we kind of want to take them to the next level of the high quality product that we are capable of doing for them. It, it completely takes us into a new range and we're very, very excited about that. Okay, Eli, I uh, appreciate your time. Again, I'm here with Eli Glansberg from SDI, the makers of iHome. I'm Larry Hooper with Channel Web. Thanks a lot for joining us.